Hi guys, it's Megan at Beacon Bay. I've been wanting to say something about this, but I've been not wanting to say something about this because I'm afraid I'm gonna come off like a crazy lady. Um, I just wanna tell you, whoever you are today, wherever you are, you don't have to kill your dog. I know that sounds crazy, right? So I'm still, just still so upset. Someone left me um, a very nice review the other day and they were very satisfied. Just a great, just a lovely family. They've got little kids, just, just super family. Nice, 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 nice people. And they had gone to another trainer before and one of their recommendations was to put the more dominant of their dogs to sleep. These are young, normal, healthy dogs. That was part of their solution was to put one of their dogs to sleep. And it just makes me crazy that a family comes. I will say I um, generally, I don't speak poorly about other trainers and I haven't asked who this trainer is. And uh, if you're watching, my client is watching this. I don't want to know who that trainer is. That's not the point of this. Um, but that, you know, as trainers, we're supposed to help families and, and, and make it better, make life with their dog better. And the thought of telling this young family with these little girls that the only way out of their pain was to inflict more pain on their family and then it would be okay. No, 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 that, 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 no. If someone is telling you as part of their plan to help you that you must kill your dog, run, run away as fast and as far as you can. That's not the solution. I'm not saying that, hang on a second, I have a dog moving off place. Lie down. Always turning. Um, I'm not saying that you can't decide that whatever it is is just too much for you to deal with. I'll give you a ride there. You know, if you need someone to drive, I'll go with you. Like, I'm not saying you can't put your dog to sleep, but if someone is telling you that the only solution to your problem is to put your dog to sleep, get a second opinion first, you know? Like, maybe there's another way. For this family, there was. They didn't put the dog to sleep. Uh, I trained both the dogs. They're, I saw them the other day. The, the little girl walked, I think, what was considered the more dominant of the pair. Little girl, like a little, little Wow, maybe she's is she six maybe so if you come to me and I feel your problems are severe I can still tell you what it would take in my opinion to keep your dog up and keep everybody safe um, but I'm not gonna tell you to kill your dog I may say look you're just beyond my skill set let me try and find someone who can help you. But I would rather admit to a shortcoming of my own than to tell you to kill your dog. So I'm just so upset. I just, I just been, well, not upset, just sad, sad for this family. And I wonder how many other families were given that solution in, in good faith and no judgment against those owners, they come to a professional for help. And how many other people followed advice like that from whoever that person was and killed their family pet as the solution to the problem with their family pet? I don't know. So if someone has told you the only way out of your problem that you're having with your dog is to, you must kill your dog, um, I'm happy to talk to you. Go to my website, beaconbaydogtraining.com and uh, click on the box, schedule an appointment for an initial consult. I'm not going to try even to sell you anything. I'll just give you my uh, quick drive-by curbside consult uh, about some other options maybe besides killing your dog because uh, really that's, that, that there are other solutions. But again, if like if you're at your breaking point or your dog is suffering and you choose that, I support you in that. But not as a solution from a dog trainer for your dog problems. So uh, 
if you want to talk, go ahead and visit my website, set up a call. And um, I'm sorry, I apologize on behalf of the good trainers of the world um, for anybody who was told that. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.